Disclaimer, the industry talk section features insights by crypto industry players and is not a part of the editorial content of Crypto News. Com Calvaria's native token, RIA, has raised over $2.83 million from its pre-sale, with only 8% of the tokens left to be purchased. The pre-sale is finishing soon, and interested investors can still purchase it before it ends. One of the most revolutionary blockchain gaming platforms, Calvaria, is looking to combine multiple Web3 concepts in a simple and engaging gameplay. The game takes players into an afterlife-themed metaverse where they can choose from myriad characters, each with unique traits and characteristics. In Calvaria, each character is represented by a non-fungible token, NFT. Players are tasked with using these NFT trading cards to build decks and essentially use them to battle against other players. They employ complex strategies and tactics to obtain rewards and various upgrades to accomplish this, and the winning player is then rewarded with Area, the platform's in-app token. This reward keeps players incentivized, as they can cash out from it and earn actual money. The platform has several unique selling points for gamers. The game is available on all devices regardless of where the user is playing. There is no need for special tools, players can download the game on their devices and begin playing. As for gameplay, Calvaria's developers have kept things fresh by providing different battle settings and parameters. This way, players have a world of content to choose from as they engage in battle. The Calvaria team created a game in which each player serves as a pseudo-ambassador for crypto. This is accomplished through its various game modes, which appeal to both crypto enthusiasts and more passive gamers. The Calvaria game is divided into two modes, Free to Play (F2P) and Play to Earn (P2E). Both allow players to use the entire Calvaria functionality, with one major difference, F2P players do not earn the in-game RIA currency. Aside from that, they can compete in seasonal tournaments, improve their in-game assets, and obtain scholarships. However, the P2E mode includes even more features, 